Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to plot graphs using Python. Okay, so in order to demonstrate that we are going to take a simple example of creating a directory structure plotter. Okay, so what happens in a directory structure plotter is that um, let's say you are given a simple um, project folder. Okay, so usually the projects folders um, have a kind of a hierarchical structure in terms of directories, right? As you can see that there is a directory inside another directory. So in that kind of situation, um, what we want to do is that we want to visualize um, this complete directory structure in the form of a graph, okay, where the directories or the files are the nodes. So that is what we want to do and we want to do, uh, do this using Python. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, let me install some dependencies that I'm going to need. These are pi.3 and graph viz okay so pi dot is made over the top of graph viz that's why we need it so yeah our dependencies are installed so let's get to the code fine so first of all let me import some dependencies um pi dot and i'm gonna also need os okay so these are the two dependencies that I'm going to need in this um, project okay so import pi dot import os so now let me specify the path of my project folder or you can see the root directory so which is home nickel desktop and python resources okay so that is my root directory and then um, I have to do um, okay now let me create a graph now so a uh, pi dot graph is initialized like this pi dot 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 in which i have to pass um, the graph type so the graph type here is going to be a directed graph and a directed graph can be represented as digraph okay so that is what we did here fine so now um, we created a graph object so the next step is um, to create a node for my root directory right so my root directory is going to be going to be the parent node of my graph or you can now say a tree okay so now basically we are going to a smaller version of a graph um, which is a nothing but a tree so we are going to make a parent node here so my parent node is going to be my root directory and let me create a node for it it's pi dot dot node in which I have to pass the name of the node so I have to give um, a name to my node so for that I'm going to use um, this much name uh, which is python resources okay so I will have to split that name root directory dot split um, slash and then take the last part okay so that is uh, done now um, I can also specify some style which is filled and also fill color is um, let's say it's green okay so I have made a node okay let me do one more thing um, let me add this node to my graph currently there is no connection between my graph and my node so I'm going to add uh, going to add my node into my graph fine so that's done okay so now I have a graph in which there is a node so let's visualize it fine so from ipython dot display import um, image and display fine and then um, next step is to create an image object so an image object is created by um, passing the image data of my graph which is obtained by g dot create png okay so this creates an image object for me and then i simply display that image so look at that currently um, in my graph there is a single node no edges at all okay so let's do the remaining work of adding those sub directories right so for that i'm going to use os uh, os modules walk method so os modules walk method is for um, creating a directory tree so you give a root node and then you traverse through um, this um, hierarchy and at each stage you process a directory so for root comma sub directories list comma files list in os.walk 
in which I have to pass the root directory. So what I have to do is that I have to um, process each directory that I get in this traversal. Okay. So but before that, let me print the root. Um, let me show you um, what directories we are going to um, process. Okay. So look at that. Um, in a hierarchical manner, we are going to first to uh, we are first in the Python resources, then basic resources, then forest data like this, right? So this is a um, top-down traversal that we are going to do here. So now, what uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take subdirectory one by one for subdirectory and directories. I'm going to make a node of my subdirectory. So node is equal to by dot dot node in which I have to pass the name which is nothing but my subdirectory name and the style is filled and let's say the fill color is um, yellow okay so let's say the uh, fill color is yellow so now I add this node to my graph and also I need to create an edge between my subdirectory and the current directory so for that I'm going to make an edge object which is pi dot dot edge in which I have to pass the node objects or the names of the nodes between which I want to create an edge so I'm going to pass the names so which uh, these are root um, dot split slash minus one okay so I'm going to take the last part of that root path and another thing is subdirectory fine and then I have to add this edge to my um, graph okay so that's done so let's see how our graph looks like now okay look at that our graph now has a complete restructure it's Python resources then these are the folders then there are further uh, directories right so it's working really fine okay and one more extension to this program that we can do here is um, we can add files in this graph so for file in files um, I'm going to create a file node as well and the color for file node is going to be um, let's say orange fine and then here again I have to make it file so it looks fine now right and let me in uh, initialize my graph again okay so oh look at that it's pretty cool let me open this image in a new tab okay look at that this is my um, main parent node and then these are the folders and each folder has some files as well as another folder as well and that folder has some other files right so a complete direct restructure uh, is available here in front of me so this is how we can we have made a simple direct restructure plotter using pydot and it's working really fine right so this is how you can use pydot to plot different kind of graphs in various kind of situations for example um, uh, disease and trees uh, are also plotted like this okay and you, anywhere if you have any network you can plot that using pydot so this was a simple example a kind of a demonstration and i hope it was clear if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below and that's it from this video thanks for watching